So today we're having a quick look at inductance um, in motor control. Why is it so important? Um, well, it's increasingly, I mean, it's always been a factor, obviously, but it's becoming increasingly important as um, the demands that are placed on motors to deliver more speed and more power density have increased. Um, what this has led to, what the major change really is that there's been a move towards lower and lower inductance um, motors. The, the main difference really is that this has sort of created a challenge for motor control designers around the world because low inductance motors can have a, a bearing on how um, how controllers are able to operate. So, for example, a you know a, a sort of relatively standard um, sensorless controller will be picking up back EMF in order to determine the um, the speed of the motor. A lower inductance motor can make picking up the back EMF harder to harder to achieve. Uh, there are ways around this, but it, there are situations where, for example, a controller that would work really really well with a what we might call a normal inductance motor will be unable to drive a lower inductance motor because it just won't be able to pick up the back EMF signal in order to be able to then drive it. What, what do we mean by low inductance? So, I mean, this isn't a sort of, um, I don't think this is an industry recognized thing, but when we're talking about them here, what we sort of, the way we define them is, Normal inductance um, 15 microhenry or above, um, low inductance 5 to 15, and then we're starting to see super low inductance, which is anything less than that. Um, as I said, those are just those are just sort of shorthand measures that we use um, here when we're looking at driving them. Uh, there's 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 a number of options in the low inductance bracket. Super low inductance has been is you know that's led to quite a lot of changes and that's that's an area that we are working on currently um so as i say the fundamental difference and the major driver for this is that lowering the inductance of the motor is one of the factors in enabling a lot more power to go through the motor and therefore increasing the overall power density so it's been driven by applications such as drones um, certain types of robotics anything where you know getting more power through a, a given mass is going to massively impact on performance equally the other major area is is applications so some of these are in industrial type applications or medical type applications where you know a faster top speed is um, a major a major factor so in terms of what you need uh well it, the best thing that we can suggest as 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 is often the case is you know get in touch with us talk to us depending on what you're using it may be that a, a low inductance or a super low inductance option is the best one equally it may be that you can achieve what you need using um standard um parts that were that were designed for sort of normal inductance um it's really difficult for us to 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 say without knowing more about the application so if you know if you are looking at this and you are looking for a, a bit of advice or a bit of a bit of help um you know please visit zcodrive.com we can have a look and we can we can talk to you and we can we can see what's what makes most sense for you